in and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm showing you a grocery haul for a month for a family of 12 people. We do most of our shopping at the beginning of the month when we can and we go back in the middle of the month. This time I think it will just be some fresh fruits and milk, I am pretty sure. Otherwise we get it all right at the beginning which saves us from a lot of extra trips and from impulse buys and all that good stuff and from shopping. If you don't like to shop, it's a good plan. <laughs> so today I put in a big order at Sam's Club and after hours of trying to refresh it and check out, it would never would let me. So frustrating, it's happened to me many times. I call customer service, but it just was not working. Solo and I ventured out into a snowstorm <laughs> and bought all of this stuff. So, I mean, we're gonna appreciate these groceries even more because we had to go through this. But we needed some good food. Our kids love to eat like most children. <laughs> and now I'm gonna show you what we got. And also I'm gonna let you know how much all of this costs. So we started with eight gallons of milk. I'm gonna just start with our dairy over here. We always go through two large sour cream things every month and two Greek yogurts. Also we got three things of heavy whipping cream and four four packs of butter, which is 16 pounds of butter. We probably won't go through all of that, but this freezes well, and I'm always trying to get ahead in my emergency storage, so I may stick one of these in the freezer at least and see if we need it. We got some tomatoes. Tomatoes are not tasting great. It's January. It looks like this outside. <laughs> and that's probably why, but we're really trying to eat one ingredient foods right now, so we put all the ingredients together, but when we're buying it, we're buying things that are only one ingredient. We made some exceptions for salt in cultures so that we could get milk and sour cream and some cheese and that kind of thing. But otherwise, we are trying our very best, not perfect, but trying our best to buy one ingredient foods and just cook with that just to be healthier. I got this iced tea because I'm weaning myself out of Diet Coke and I've been drinking iced tea. And then these two packs of tomatoes too. Um, we probably will have to get more tomatoes in the middle of the month because we're trying to stay more away from the canned tomatoes that we've always relied heavily on. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Got some cucumbers, snap peas, sugar snap peas. My kids love those. Broccoli that we're, I think we're using this for a recipe and I will be sharing what we're having for dinner throughout the month. So you can see that. Um, and these, we'll probably roast these two bags on the same night and just use them as roasted vegetables with a meat, probably fish, that we already have in our freezer. We got these three bags of frozen fruit. We rely heavily on fresh fruit near the beginning of the month, more on frozen fruit the second half of the month. But we also use this stuff for smoothies. My kids do love to snack on it though. I keep saying the beginning of the month, but we actually uh, went on a trip at the beginning of the year and it threw us off. So. I'm shopping, doing the big shopping every four weeks. Eventually, it will be the beginning of the month again. We have these berries, blueberries, and these two triple berry blends. They love, my kids love these in uh, yogurt, in oatmeal. What else do you love them in? Smoothies? Yeah. And they eat them plain too. <laughs> we got some little peppers. I'll cook with these peppers. These are more for snacking, especially me. Not many of my kids like that. Um, four things of bananas. Solo picked up organic apples. He wants to see if they taste better, he said. Apples have been like tomatoes, pretty tasteless right now, so we'll see. They're better for us anyway, I guess. He said they were like 60 cents more each a bag only, so that's good. Four things of these cutie oranges. It, we've been struggling to have four of these and two large bags of oranges and three bags of apples to last two weeks. So we'll definitely be going back for that stuff. A bag of sweet potatoes, four bags. Oh, here they are, four bags of red potatoes. So that averages out to about a bag a week. And then we have a big thing of yellow onions. We bought a big bag of red onions a couple weeks ago, so. These large bags of oranges are eight pounds each, so they're pretty big bags, but we eat, we eat them real quick around here. Got two things of coconut oil. I should have probably bought that last month, but we have plenty in our emergency storage, so I just had to steal from there, and we're making up for it. Pistachios, we have already ripped into those. I do like to keep some in a bowl on the counter. I think it helps with snacking. I'd rather them snack on that than a lot of other things. So, uh, Three bags of string cheese. This also makes great snacks in our house. We've got two things of feta cheese. My kids are loving this on salad, and we're doing salad at least one lunch every week and one dinner, usually Sunday nights. And then goat cheese, we love that on kale and eggs that we eat. I talk about that all the time. Uh, these little cheeses are just one ingredient or two, I guess. Can't remember, but it wasn't much. Pasteurized cultured milk, salt, 
and em enzymes too. Solo and I love those where the kids eat those more. And then we got this cheese, which is also good and clean and very, very tasty. So we're using it in anything we would shred cheese in. We're also slicing it off for what we would do sandwiches or sandwich wraps. Found this bag, I was gonna get Parmesan cheese and found this Asiago Parmesan Romano and it has no filler, just natural cheese and it's like shavings. So I thought that might be really good on spaghetti and different things like that. It's just cultured milk, salt and enzymes. And it was a lot cheaper than per pound than the big block of Parmesan cheese. Three bags of this romaine lettuce. We use it as wraps for sandwiches. We use it for salads. And that's basically what we use it for. This bag of, this is green cabbage, red cabbage and carrots. That's all that's in there. So we consider it one ingredient because it's just literally the food's already chopped up for you. We will probably cook this with some ground beef and some spices and stuff for a very easy dinner. And minced onion. I was just out of minced onions, so got that. And some mushrooms, my kids have been eating a lot of those. We got four things of honey this time. I didn't need to buy that last month, so this is how we sweeten our granola. My husband uses it sometimes for coffee. I mean, we use it for a number of things. Oh, sometimes even our yogurt, we sweeten it with that. Otherwise, we use maple syrup for a yogurt sweetener. We've been doing some pancakes on Saturday mornings too, so maple syrup's good for that. And, oh, a bag of avocados in there. And then my daughter called me while we were at Sam's Club. She was making our homemade hot chocolate and it is cocoa powder, powdered milk, which we had, and she said we were out of powdered sugar. So I haven't really looked into like how to cleanly eat powdered sugar. It is only sugar cane and cornstarch. The hot chocolate mix we're making probably is a lot healthier than any hot chocolate mix we would be buying anyway. So not sure where we stand on that, but I'm thinking about it. I just hadn't thought about it when she called me. So we just picked that up. Frying chicken. Um, I'm gonna cook these two chickens at once in a roaster. And then I will use the bones and skin and all leftover little itty bitty bits and make some chicken stock or chicken broth that I will cook with this month because we're doing some soups. So that's why this will be one dinner and then the broth will help make several other dinners. I do like to get the, these chickens when I can, um, when I can find them. I can't always find them there because they had no added hormone or steroids, all natural. I don't know like how much healthier they are, but I do know that when you get the other ones, they're huge and they're filled with water and stuff and who knows what else. So I figure this has to be a bigger, be a better bet here. I learned the hard way last month when I was going through my grocery haul with you guys that the frozen chicken we bought had tons of ingredients in it. So we picked up two things of this, they're drumsticks. I actually had asked him to get thighs, but um, he grabbed drumsticks, which is just fine because we usually grill the drumsticks, which is Solo's job anyway. So I was happy with that mistake because we can grill it instead of cooking what I was gonna make. So we'll wait for a warmer day. Uh, then we got two things of chicken breasts. I do have tons of the other kind of frozen chicken breasts in my freezer that we'll have to get through. You know, we're slowly replacing it with the stuff that doesn't have a ton of added ingredients. Got this beef, four of them, stewed beef. So we'll use one a week. This last item of food is a, um, some tuna that only has tuna, uh, sea salt, and water. I did find some at Walmart last month and I was amazed at how much better it tasted than the tuna we've been buying, the cheap tuna. <laughs> so this was totally worth it, I think. I, I imagine this will be just as good as the one we found at Walmart, but we'll try it out. There are eight cans in there, so we'll definitely go through that this month. Also included in our grocery haul is some of these type of items. We got a big thing of toilet paper because we do every time we walk into Sam's Club. There's a big thing of paper plates, some pull-ups, and some baby wipes, like the unscented ones. I hope we picked up the unscented ones. Yep, fragrance free. It's getting late today and the roads are not that awesome. So I'm gonna go to a couple more stores to add to this haul. I'm gonna show you that when I do that, probably tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and I'm gonna give you our total, but our budget for the month, you should know, is $1,300. Last month we went way under budget. Eating this way with one ingredient, which we just started last month, has definitely proved to be cheaper so far. So we'll see how this month turns out. I still have a number of stores to do. And I ordered some bulk ingredients too, again, this month. The lady checking us out at Sam's Club said, wow, I don't know who you're feeding. They are eating very healthy. And I just laughed and told her, oh, it's, just, it's our kids, we got a lot of them. And she turns out she has seven children and she told me, they're mostly out of the house now, but she told me her kids loved fresh fruit, but she would 
always felt like it was really expensive and could never keep up with how much they would want to eat it, I think is what she said. So I t told her, well, what I'm finding is when you replace the junk food with the fruit, it evens out. In fact, it actually does better. So it's true so far. I mean, I thought eating this way would cost a lot more. We didn't eat a lot of junk food, but we did eat some. But so far, it's not the case. Let's be real though, it does take a lot more work. Just found my receipt, my total there was $772. Hello good people, I'm coming to you from negative seven degrees in my town today. And I went to Walmart because I'm crazy. And Aldi, took my mom with me. Solo's working on some cabinets, right? You probably can hear it. Good job, hey Solo. <laughs> He's taking cabinet doors off. Yeah, lots of hard work over there. Showing your muscles. <laughs> He's taking them off because we're getting new cabinet doors on our upper cabinets. We got way upper cabinets and we have to paint the uh, framing to match the new doors that are coming in the way upper. That made no sense, I know. Okay, let me show you what I got at Walmart. It seems like a lot of money. It always does at Walmart, but you know, last month, this last month, I've had to borrow eggs from my neighbor twice. So we got another box of eggs. So four boxes of 60 egg, which is, what's four times? 240 eggs, if my math is right. I picked up some Serrano peppers, I think they're called. I just got a big handful of them. Because of the one ingredient food, I do use a lot of Rotel tomato cans that have a lot of things in it. So I just thought, well, let me try to make it fresh. So I don't know what green chilies are like. These are probably not what's in Rotel, but I got them, they're really hot I think, and we'll try them. We'll try them in some dishes. We're not afraid of some spice around here. Got these grapes, my children are all hovering. They're waiting downstairs until I'm done so they can come eat them. They're excited about that. We got four bags of uh, frozen cauliflower. I'm using these for a recipe. I picked up this Daisy Cottage Cheese because you all told me this is the one to get. It's cultured skim milk, cream, and salt. So it is not as cheap as the other sour, or, did I say sour cream? Cottage cheese. It's not as cheap as the other ones. Uh, I got six of them and they're not very big. But we missed cottage cheese. And why is it that the ones that are just real clean are a lot more expensive? I don't know. Uh, sliced prosciutto because we're fancy here now. <laughs> this is just pork and salt. And uh, the kids really liked it. We did it in lettuce wraps last month with some of that uh, white Kerrygold cheese and mayonnaise and mustard. And they really loved it as like sandwich wraps. So we're doing that again. I got five of them. I think last month I got three. We went through it right away. Uh, goat's milk, my little one year old, he does do better on goat's milk typically. He's been doing okay with cow's milk, but since I found lots of it there, I thought do that for him. Goat's milk, I've been told by my doctor and many others that it is closest to breast milk in its components. So it's really good for little ones and yeah. We'll give him that this month. Those things are expensive, by the way. They're like $4.50 each. I uh, picked up this nutmeg. I don't know if it's focusing on there, but we do use nutmeg a lot for granola. I got uh, 12 things of spaghetti, just whole wheat spaghetti. I am so thankful that whole wheat spaghetti or whole wheat noodles are one ingredient. That makes life much easier, so we're just stocking up on that. My total at Walmart was 120 three dollars and then let me show you what i got at aldi oh before i do that i did try this cottage cheese might as well give you a review it is very very thick i did get four percent some of my kids and i love it on toast a little on toast so it'll be good i may try two percent next time though because it is very thick i mean very thick <laughs> i feel like cottage cheese is one of those weird things that when you get used to one it's hard to switch because they all they all have very different textures and tastes maybe that's me Mommy, you want the grapes? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> go wash them. I will wash. Take them over to Dad. He'll wash them. Okay, I'll take them. This is $53 worth of food from Aldi. Uh, there is something in here that's expensive, so that should explain it. But we've got three bags of chopped kale. I love eating that. If you don't like kale or you think you don't like kale, try frying it up with some oil. A little oil and bacon bits in it. And bacon. So good that way. Uh, limes, we've got green onions, four things of cilantro. I love these chips. The kids uh, really went crazy over them on salads, crushed up. So it makes salads just much better. And it's only Parmesan cheese in there. 
Uh, got some yellow squash for a recipe I'm doing. And yes, all our food is wrapped in a lot of plastic here. That's how it comes. We did this garlic, fresh garlic last month and all our dishes with garlic tasted much, much better. So more fresh garlic and then we got some scallops and shrimp and those only have scallops and shrimp in them. So we'll do that again for a meal. The kids have already been plotting out what they wanna make with this. Last month we did it like a garlic sauce on noodles. We're gonna try something else this month. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple other things I got. I, if you've been around here, you know I've talked about my friend Darcy Isabella here on YouTube. She has 10 kids, a lot of them are out of the house now, but they eat one ingredient foods. And that's where I first saw somebody doing it. So she's a big inspiration for this. I'll link her channel down below. You can check her out if you want to get some really good clean food ideas. But I was asking her the other day about cream cheese. <laughs> and so she told me it's really easy to make. I just need non-homogenized milk or cream on top milk. And I thought you could only buy that from farmers, but apparently they do sell some in the grocery store. So my dad stopped by a um, Hy-Vee, which has a little more specialty stuff for me and picked this up for $5. We're gonna try to make our own cheese, cream cheese specifically this month. So I'll share that with you. <laughs> Who am I? I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? You can try once and it's a good experience. So I don't know if it'll go well or not go well, but the recipe does look easy and it's supposed to be very, very good. So it's worth trying, I figured. Yeah, just like Here is my Azure standard, I hope I'm saying that right, Azure standard order. I paid very little for shipping because I met the big semi truck. That's how you do it, you order in bulk. And I met the semi truck in a parking lot, picked up my order and that's how you save the money, I guess. So let me show you really quick. This is 50 pound bag of rolled oats. They are organic. And I paid $48.35 for it. This is cane sugar, organic cane sugar. The description was that it was minimally processed. It says only organic cane sugar. And we got it because it's, I think it's gonna be very similar to the sugar we get in Kenya, and Sola loves that in chai, so we just thought we'd try it out, plus we needed sugar. Um, we'll store it in all of this stuff in these five gallon buckets that we have. May need to get some more, but the organic cane sugar costs $57, and it's a 50 pound bag. And then we got some soft white wheat berries, which I'm planning to sprout on my own. This 50 pound bag costs $26.95, and the hard white, both of them are organic by the way, then the hard white wheat berries, which is what we make most bread with. I think we'll also use the soft white um, for baking like cakes and cookies. But the hard white wheat berries cost $45 for a 50 pound bag. I did buy some wheat berries off of Amazon, a small bag, a 25 pound bag. It was double the price on Amazon per pound and it was not organic, so. I do think it's a really good deal to do it this way. This is curry powder, just got that to try it out. It's a one pound bag, and it only costs, it was under five, under $6, it was five eighty nine. And then we got some cocoa butter wafers. This is way cheaper here than anywhere else I could find. And I'm gonna try to make my own chocolate, like sugar-free chocolate, using a sweetener, using stevia. And these cocoa butter wafers were $36 for five pounds. And then this whole white corn, we just got a five pound bag because we wanna try it out to make a Kenyan staple food called ugali. We're gonna try this white corn in our grinder to see um, if it works for that. If not, we'll definitely use it to make tortillas, grind it up and use, use it for tortillas. So we'll use it in our Nutramil grain grinder. And yeah, that was my order there. The total is $246.09. That included $19 of shipping fees. It was not hard to do this at all, but you do have to be somewhat flexible in your schedule. For us, the drop off time was very close to our house, but it was at 10 a.m., so we had to be available. Okay, in the bag of cane sugar was a blue bag, a blue plastic bag, and then the the sugar is a little finer than what we get in Kenya. The description did say it was minimally processed, but it's not those big chunks like we get in Kenya, but we'll see. It'll be interesting to see if it tastes much different. All right, I got the total. Last month we were way under budget, way under budget. So I ordered a lot of like things to stock up my pantry, still way under budget. I thought this month for sure we knew more what we were running out of. Uh, trying to plan better, we ran out of fruit a lot, just trying to 
be more on top of it and get plenty. I thought we would probably hit full budget at least, especially with ordering that other bulk stuff. Guys, my total was $1,199, so basically $1,200. I still have 100 left to buy fruit and milk in the middle of the month. That's with buying all that goat's milk and everything. I tell you what, I am surprised about it. I thought that eating this way is, was going to be more expensive. It has not been more expensive. Has it's it all been, the cheese. Has it been more work? It's all the cheese. We got a lot of cheese, cheese this month. All the crosses, has cheese. it been more work? Yes, it has been. Is it worth it? So far. We'll see if we keep it up. It's after. all the processed cheese. No. We usually get a whole... We no. do like cheese. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We're going to make our own cream cheese because I want some cream cheese for recipes and I thought it would be good for the kids on bread too. But um, that's, that's the one thing in recipes that keeps coming up that I'm like, what do I do to replace cream cheese in recipes? We use cream cheese in a lot. Uh, but yes, anyway, it's going very well at our house, this one ingredient thing. We're keeping it up at least another month. Thank you guys for watching today, for sticking around and seeing all this stuff. Every Saturday we show food videos, so if you want to see what we're, we're eating for dinner every week and a little bit of lunch and breakfast too, please stop back by our channel, and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye.